Hello and welcome to Summit Live. This is episode 16. We are broadcasting from Whippany, New Jersey, headquarters of Summit International Flooring. My name is David Newmark. I am the president of Summit International Flooring, and we have a very, very uh, great show today. But before I introduce our guest, I'd like to take this moment to introduce my co-host today, Mark Becker. I thought it was going to be Rocco. Uh, Rocco is also with us uh, today. He's always with us. Uh, as as our co co host, we have a great show. Uh, we have a, a a friend of of uh, of mine and ours, Daniel Butz, who's the CEO of Object Carpet, uh, which is based in Denkendorf, Germany. Object Carpet is one of the finest manufacturers of carpeting in the world. They are ranked and rated as one of the fifty luxury carpets what luxury brands actually of germany and we're very pleased to welcome them uh with us today we have daniel butz and daniel are you with us hi hello hi. daniel how are you <laughs> well, david well. and mark great we're always, great to, we're always, to be with you today it's great to have you um you you know that we go back oh boy i'm trying to remember when we met in miami I believe it was a trade show that I was I was walking around. Uh, we were showing actually at the time Miami Beach. I think it's eleven years ago now, and uh, you stumbled upon us, and we got to talking, and one thing led to another, and uh, since then we are we together working as the uh, uh, distributor of Object Carpet in the United States, and uh, we have uh, made leaps and and bounds together. And uh, had a lot of laughs along the way. We, we have had a lot of laughs. Uh, we have a couple surprises for you a little later on in the show. Uh, but we'd like to <laughs> we'd like to Great welcome times, you. Yeah. yeah, I bet you I bet you have an, a couple ideas of what they may be. But anyway, Daniel, thank you for joining us. I'm going to turn the show over uh, shortly right now to Mark. And he has a we'll, we'll start off with a couple questions for you. Well, before we get into questions, one of the things that our viewers already know is that Object Carpet innovates. We go from products like Silky Seal that looks like silk but can be used commercially, to uh, a shag that's non-directional that can also be used commercially, to the wildly crazy popular printed carpet tiles from Freestyle. And now Object Carpet is launching a new collection. For this new collection, Object has picked a firm called Ippolito Fli Flights. Flights. Yes. Ippolito Flights to partner with in the development. And I guess the first question we have, Daniel, is Object Carpet is so well known at this point. Many design firms, I'm sure, would like to work with you in a project like this. How and why did you pick Ippolito Flights as your current partner? Um, so first of all, the idea was uh, to create a collection from architects uh, for architects. And uh, I think one point for sure they're in Stuttgart. That's uh, one reason, but uh, I think this is uh, one of the top interior architects in, in Germany, but not only in Germany, they have offices in, in Shanghai, Moscow and Berlin. And we had a good connection before as well with them. Um, and they, they have the same DNA, uh, like they, they are really sustainable uh, architects. Uh, they, they look after health and for sure for design. They love textile. Um, and uh, at one point we came together and they were looking for products which we did not have. Um, and uh, so we came, uh, they, they, they wanted to have something more natural, something more handmade, uh, not like a, like a machine made carpet. They want to have a textile with uh, more soul. And um, so we said, okay, what, what, what's your idea directly behind it? And could we develop something together? which fits your ideas. And um, this was the start of uh, a work pro process of uh, three years, where we became friends as well with uh, Ippolito, with Tila, the whole uh, design uh, team. Uh, and it led as well to a project, uh, La Visione, in our new uh, campus headquarters. This collection, would you say it's, it's geared mostly to the corporate use, end use? more uh, you know, obviously it's for contract usage but it, would you say it's more of for, for office usage or for retail or 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 even residential 
the idea was to to make a um, uh, hospitality um, a collection which also fits into uh, offices uh, for mm -hmm. sure that hospitality and office uh, more and more um, the like a living environment in the office is uh, um, uh, something everybody wants to have in an uh, in an office uh, so the main idea was to create a hospitality and office collection but for sure it's as well for uh, like the high-end residential market. Well, you have uh, really unique names that, that I guess help designers to know what you had in mind when these designs were created. There are designs, for example, Move and Groove or Walk and Talk that would help direct people from one part of the establishment or the office to the next, where people yeah. can walk hand in arm in arm, well, excluding COVID, right. but walk together, talk together, and, and collaborate through the, throughout the workspace. So when designers look at these samples, they'll see um, what was in mind for movement, what was in mind to create um, thinking spaces versus movement spaces. So obviously there's been a lot of thought to the feelings that these carpets create. Sure. Yeah, um, the idea of um, the AI text was uh, to create a collection that thinks in spaces, in new spaces, um, because the, the the carpet or the floor itself, it's the founda uh, foundation um, for a room's atmosphere, and it creates the mood, the effect, the, the use uh, and its purpose. Um, so the carpet should be, in, in their ideas, the stage for human interaction. And the names of the carpets they show what kind of atmosphere the carpet itself gives the room. So here you see good the names uh, like move and groove, walk and talk, height and size, deal and feel, meet and beat. Um, these are all, uh, these are the, the atmospheres the, the the product itself should create. That was the idea. Just so uh, everyone can see that, I'm going to ask Alan to switch over to the hand camera. And I'm going to just show you, the audience, what we're actually looking at in this collection. Mark, a little assistance, please. I don't know how well you can see all this. Some beautiful textures. Really high floor carpets, but as well like flat woven carpets, which go as a tile, as broad loom, and as rugs as well. Yeah, we want to talk about that in a moment. If you look at um, Flow and Glow and up close with the handheld, Flow and Glow happens to be one of my favorites. And I think it's a very creative construction where you have not only multiple colors for texture, but it looks like you've wrapped one yarn around another yarn to get a, a tip, a point of color into each individual yarn. It's very creative. To me, that would be a, in a place in a corporate environment that would dictate creativity. So it's, it's a beautiful carpet and a little bit different than than what we typically see. Okay. I successfully yes, um, I successfully so, Daniel, held the hand camera and didn't cut anybody off. Perfect. What so what Daniel was saying is uh, these are available in rolls and in tiles. There's also a area rug element. So when designers are looking on the website and these carpets are on the object carpet website now they are available in different formats, just like most of what Object Carpet does. And what we're looking at right now is an advertisement. Uh, we don't have the sound on specifically so that we can talk through this, but you could see the unique um, and very modern uh, marketing that uh, Object Carpet does, including a wool hamburger. Very yeah, it's, it's interesting that, that that's an installation you see here. Um, the installation uh, we planned uh, to present it in uh, Milan for the Salone. Um, that was the idea. We had a really nice installation planned. So as we couldn't uh, present it in Milan, we decided to build up a smaller version of it uh, in a studio. And uh, we made like all this digital um, 360 degrees pictures, uh, had made the movie, made um, 
a lot of nice gimmicks, uh, GIFs uh, and things like that in that installation. And it looked great. The carpet gives, uh, gives the room. Um, the idea was that the carpet makes the room. And uh, you, you, you could, uh, offer in our, on our website, on your website, you can walk through uh, the whole installation. That and the video is it, the video shows the creativity and what the carpet should emote. It, it all blends together very, very well. One of the things we should mention is that these carpets are made of echinol. They are recycled. There is a green story to these carpets. Mm -hmm. um, echinol, as as we've talked about in previous episodes of Summit Live, is um, it's created from recycled nylon. A lot of that comes from the fishing nets that are brought out of the ocean. So we're yeah. saving the planet while we're making beautiful carpet. Yeah, one of the very important uh, things about object carpet is their dedication to the environment, to the world's ecology, and to the overall health uh, of the product uh, that, they, that they manufacture. Yep, no latex, <clears throat> no bitumen, no PVC. Right. Our carpet towels are lightweight. That takes less energy to ship. Even the products, not necessarily this collection, but even the printed products, there's no... There's no water used in the process, right. so there's no extra energy needed for drying. All of these thoughts go into not just making pretty carpet, but pretty carpet that will meet the demand of high traffic and be earth friendly. So, so we know a little bit about Object Carpet's background because we have been affiliated with you now and your partners for the last 11 or so years. I think we're looking or just saw on screen uh, an image of your brand new headquarters building uh, located maybe... I don't know, two or three kilometers, which is about two miles or so from your old uh, headquarters building. Uh, how is that working out? It's a beautiful looking uh, building. How's the new space working out for you? The, the new space, everybody loves it right now. Um, it, it, also for, for myself, it was uh, um, a really big highlight because we get the chance to um, build up uh, a building on the on the from scratch uh, a new one where we could like bring all of our DNA in uh, what we preach so where we live now what we preach uh, every decision was made um, with the background of uh, sustainability of the background of health and of the background uh, of design the design you see easily but uh, the sustainability and um, the health um, was always part in every decision. It's an energy efficient uh, uh, building, which uh, has to look for, for, for the same. <laughs> it's, uh, we, we practically don't use uh, energy. And if there's no sun, for example, and we have to buy energy, it's green energy, what we use there. Uh, it, it goes to the bees on the on the rooftop. What we have, uh, and uh, in front of the building, we have a a, 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 a flower uh, flowers, especially planted for for these bees. That that's wonderful that you had all that foresight uh, to 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 uh, create a building like that. It just goes. It's it's with in keeping really with what object carpet is all about. And uh, speaking from experience, you and, and, and letting our audience know this, you have to know how much we love and trust the people of Object Carpet, <laughs> including <laughs> some of our picture. crazy, yeah, mm -hmm. one of our, that is some of our pictures that maybe some alcohol might have been sprinkled in a little bit. But the Object Carpet people are a lot of fun. They're honest. Uh, they, they, they work hard. Uh, even Frank Zimmerman works hard. That's him right, right between Mark and I when we were going to the beer fest. These are some of the fun pictures that we were going to sprinkle in. Oh, and there is My father. Roland Butts, your father, who is the uh, originator mm -hmm. of Object Carpet. And uh, I don't know exactly what we were doing or singing. singing. Uh, we were singing something in German. We don't exactly know what it was, but well, we have, we do have a lot of fun when we're together. Yeah, and uh, yes, and, and, and it is a, a relationship stunt. that we value for sure. We do, and and it just goes to show uh, that you're you're human, uh, you're good people, you make great products. One of the things that we did not discuss, and I've always brought that up in presentations, is the colors that Object Carpet is all about. Object Carpet 
Uh, I've been to the, I haven't been to the new building, but I have been to the old building uh, where the color wall, uh, Alan, I don't know if you can find that. We have a picture of the color wall, color wall that shows, I don't know, maybe 300 or 400. There, there it is. There's the color wall. Just, just a, a, almost every color that can possibly be is represented by, by object carpet. Yeah, and it works great if you're working on a project where you want to use area rugs and you want to change the colors but continue the theme of the design. You can have the same texture and switch to a myriad of colors as you go through the space. Yeah, it, it, It's a really <clears throat> great way to, to offset what a space. What about the minimum uh, order quantities for um, Object carpet, and Daniel will tell me if I'm wrong, but everything from 250 yards or 200 square meters can be custom colored. So if you don't find a color in the 30 colors of this collection or the 60 colors of that collection, if the project has 250 yards, we will gladly make a custom color. Is that let, correct? Let me, let me add something uh, to the colors of the new collection because the idea of the collection was that uh, the, the colors could be combined freely, um, but not only the, the colors as well, the structures and materials, all product types which are in there are um, graded that they can freely be combined. So the colors matches, the combination matches really well uh, well together. But you're right, um, with 200 square meters, you can have any color. Uh, we do custom uh, custom colors. And as well, uh, we can do f starting from uh, 100 square meters on our insp uh, inspiration collection uh, form for great ideas, we can do uh, on four different surfaces, any printing design. Yeah, that is, that's the form collection. Sure, yeah. Form is a collection of 18 standard designs. But in addition to the standard designs that are shown on this panel here, form will allow for totally custom designs. You draw it, you create it, you think it, it can be done. And it can be done in four different qualities. It can be done in a, a glossy, silk-like looking texture. It can be done in a regular uh, plush cut pile. Mm -hmm. It can be done in a structured loop design for extra texture. Let's get that down the camera, please. There's the structured loop design. It can also be done in a low profile Better. woven carpet. So anything that anybody can create, anything that a designer likes, whether it comes from an image from a picture, whether it comes from an image that they took on their camera, Anything can be done. If we have the quantities, you can pick the texture. It, it's really, uh, again, it's innovative thought to being able to give people what they want. It's successful specifications are always about expectations being met. And if someone doesn't find what meets their expectation out of the standard line, custom is always available. You know, it, there's, one of, there's no, no limit. There's no limit in, in, in colors. It's a new technology, which also practically don't need water. So um, you, it's energy efficient, uh, sustainable, and uh, yeah, it's, it sets the stage for your design ideas. You know, I have to throw in one more thought as we're talking about this. With all of the innovation and all of the new things that Object Carpet comes out with, this is the first time in my life, I've been with Summit for eight years, Object Carpet has been here the whole time I've been here. The only claim we have ever had with an object carpet was some grease from a trucking company. We have never had a claim on the quality of object carpet. I know people don't believe me when I say that, but hand on a stack of Bibles, that is the honest truth. Never a claim with object carpet. Yeah. It's, it's really unbelievable. Service. Um, uh, we always say precision manufacturing, precision manufacturing. And, and it's well, the truth. That's Germany in general, uh, but object carpet takes it a step step beyond and uh and this is a picture that we're looking at right now that we carpet, carpet ninjas that we happened to take just last week we had received our face masks thank you very much from object carpet like we, were, we we did we we're modeling them i have one right here in front of me but it's hard to speak through this it's hard to breathe through this uh during this and mark and i are nearly social distanced yeah. right now. We separate as as well as we can. We do wear the masks within the company when right. we're working. It's just uh, yeah, the best it, we can for of, our show here. It, you can't really understand us through these if during this telecast. So we're about as far away as we can be. 
Uh, Alan, who's behind the board, he's wearing his mask and he's out of out of distance. So we take that very seriously. Uh, we hope and, and expect that everybody at Object Carpet is well. Uh, it's a crazy world, obviously, that we live in uh, and will continue to live in for a while. Well, let's let's also mention that our, our numbers, our turnover, our sales with Object Carpet have gone up even with the pandemic, yeah. which, which shows that this is becoming a go-to line. People in the U.S. are finally knowing well, that object, object Carpet exists. Object Carpet uh, in the United States prior to us were uh, virtually an unknown, and we're kind of moving. Some is, is taking the Object Carpet brand and, and doing everything that we can with it, combined with what uh, uh, Object Carpet is doing from their uh, headquarters in Germany. And uh, gradually, slowly but steadily, uh, growing the the awareness and the sales. Um, so tell us, Daniel, real quickly. Let's go back a step. Give us a little history, if you would, about Object Carpet. How did it come uh, about? Whose idea? How long you've been in business? I know it's been about forty years or so. Uh, why don't you just fill us in a little bit about the background? Oh, it's already nearly 50 years now, uh, 50. 50 years. Uh, my father founded a company uh, with, a, with a partner together in uh, 1972. And they were, both of them, they were engineers, my father in the, in the part of colors uh, and uh, the partner in the um, uh, part of yarns. And they started, uh, or they developed like uh, products for, for the carpet industry. And uh, then they decided to, um, yeah, to, to start their own company and uh, to create their own collection. In the, in the beginning, they did not have a, a production. Um, so they just developed the products and went out with, uh, with their developed uh, products, which were unique during that time. And um, in the 80s, uh, we started with our own production uh, here in Germany. Um, so nearly 90% of our products are produced in, uh, in Germany. Um, uh, and uh, now since, uh, since 2004, I'm in the company and we're trying to push forward uh, farther. We're going more and more international. We are now... Um, have the, the, a really nice mixture between uh, tiles, um, rugs, and uh, and broadloom, uh, and we are focused uh, totally on uh, on the contract market from the beginning, and I think this uh, makes us different to a lot of other uh, uh, brands because all of our products are developed uh, for contract, and uh, as well we we go a holistic uh, approach. Uh, we consequently. Um, uh, avoid um, pollutants and uh, uh, emissions, and not only in one product range. We we have that in all of our products. Um, so, for example, in our tiles, they are 100% recycled and they are 100% recyclable. And that's uh, something what you have start already in the proce process of uh, product product design that you create a foundation um, for uh, future recycling. Right. Um, you know, it's I think this is important that we always, when we make decisions, uh, we go holistic and do that through the whole range and not just uh, doing like a few products. Well, you, base, you, you definitely walk the talk. And I, I can tell you that um, with so many collections and so many, so much updates that we have to do, we work very hard at our company to create HPDs for you to keep the architects and designers completely up to date. And on that note, let me give a quick shout out to an ex-employee of ours who is now a consultant, Pam Marshall. She works very, very hard to uh, create these these HPDs. I don't know how it, she does it's it. It's a complicated process. It's Pam, complicated. Pam is smart and has a lot of patience. Oh, she has patience. And I've got to tell you, I it, it's it's over my head. So thank but the you, Pam, important for, thing for is, doing yes, all those. Thank you very much, Pam. Yeah. But, but the important thing while Daniel's speaking about the German manufacturing is as the, as the designers here know, and if they don't know, they need to know, HPDs are available, products are class one, everything you need to use those products in commercial projects and lead projects, it's all there. So when you find the product that you think is pretty and has the right texture, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we can supply what you need to use that product. What's on the horizon, Daniel? What's what's out there? What's next? 
I know there's there's a, it's an uncertain Plenty. world. <laughs> <laughs> take I'm a sorry. little. It's gonna take a little nap after the Ippolito yeah. flights collection. But I'm Plenty. sure. But, I'm but sure. Right now, um, right now uh, our, our main main um, our task is uh, to bring the new collection, which we started two weeks ago, um, Ippoli or three weeks ago now, uh, to bring it into the, into the market. As we did not have uh, any show where we could present it, uh, now it's completely started digital. Um, that's a, a, a task to to change everything as now more and more to go digital and uh, to find ways like you did uh, with your show what we are doing right now uh, to do uh, to work more with our clients uh, digital and to, to see what what uh, works and what does not work um, because we have a textile product which you have which you want to touch so it always have to be a combination between uh, like a digital presentation, but at the same time you have to have uh, something in your hand to have the, the touch. So there are a lot of digital movements going on right now. And I think on the product side, we're also working, but today it's uh, the Ippolito, which uh, has our focus. Yeah, we're also sending samples to designers homes if they're working from home. When when you when the designer looks at the large white facts and visions inspiration faction inspiration catalog, when they go to this book, everything in the table of contents that's written in green is made from recycled yarn. Everything is made easy for the designer. Just like as Daniel said, the Ippolito Flights collection has colors that blend from one to the next for use in the same project. The catalog makes it easy to see what's recycled, and even the even the folders, the architectural folders. Have sound dampening information on the side on the spines as sound dampening has you know, become it's funny, so important. That's the, just one last thing before we uh, end the our thunder. session with Daniel is the sound dampening. How important that is in the world and how how advanced object carpet is. Would you please be kind enough to take a moment just to fill us in on what object carpet does for sound dampening for uh, acoustical qualities. Yeah, I think uh, this is one of the most important things uh, you can influence in a, in a workspace to get less uh, stress and uh, to have a better uh, well-being if you have the right acoustics uh, in, in, in the work atmosphere. Um, for example, as well, the tiles are with our Weltex backing. It's standard that all of our tiles are acoustic tiles. So we also call them acoustic tiles. Um, because they have in the standard, they have the acoustic backing on it, where we have uh, uh, dB reductions uh, of uh, 25 to up to 40, um, uh, or uh, sorry, for 25 to uh, 35, and the alpha W of up to uh, 0 0.4, which is quite, uh, which is really high, uh, and um, that's where we still work out always uh, to, to improve that, but uh, that's a, a really high standard we, we set here in, in the industry. Well, carpet is a quieter product on the floor than, than resilient products, and that Weltex back almost doubles the decibel level dampening of sound. Mm -hmm. Almost doubles. That's, yeah. that, that is important for the, the wellness of the inside space today. So everything is appreciated, Daniel, from from the quality of the face of the carpet to the quality of the back of the carpet and all of the earth friendly thinking that goes into manufacturing the carpet. I'd love to add one more thing, which is not directly related to acoustics, but uh, on the well being of office rooms um, is that uh, the products uh, don't have any emi or don't have emissions, uh, which, which are harmful. They have no odors. And it's also because of not only not using products which are harmful, um, but also we wash all of our products uh, before we uh, send it or bring it to our customers. So all of our products are washed. Everybody knows when they buy shirts, usually you first bring it to the washing machine uh, because there's from the production things, uh, uh, oily uh, things in it. So we are one of the only companies in the carpet industry washing their products. And this is really helpful in having this practically no emissions. Well, there's no question that object carpet is quality. You do, uh, they're not, let, let me just simply say there are a lot of companies that manufacture for speed and not for performance, not for quality. They do it for money. And I'm going to tell you that object carpet is not the least expensive product in the world of 
carpet manufacturers. But without doubt, in my opinion, it is the best and you get what you pay for it. And, and I'm not just saying that uh, to you, Daniel, because we are your partners. I'm saying that because I've been in this business long enough and so has Mark to know what's out there and what companies do and the shortcuts that they take and, and, and all the, all the, all the rest that goes. Well, with I think it. it's value. It's, it's not object carpet or summit just trying to hit home runs. There's value Our all of our margins are reasonable for the product, but the products are outstanding. Yeah. And they do hit yeah. all these points that we've been talking about. Grab one of those. Just this is just a silky just seal sample. Up. In fact, I'm going to just hold this real quickly one last well, time. You can show the back as well because that's a Would thermal felt back. All right, I'm going right here to a product called Silky Seal. This is the last product we'll show. This is a nylon carpet, polyamide, but it's made to look and feel and and shadow just like silk. It is gorgeous. It's a fraction of the cost of silk and this is also a standard product on their acoustic uh acoustic thermo felt uh, thermo backing is standard on a couple of products silky seal is one of them the web flex collection is one smoothie is one it's available on most everything but uh standard on a couple of products so and again it, it's it, it's it, in rolls and tiles it's again it's the thought process all the way from from a through z that makes object carpet the value that it is. Daniel, thank you so much for coming to us from Germany tonight. You have two young children home. You have a wife home. I think they may want to see you now. Uh, we'd like to thank, uh, thank you for your time and your effort. Thank you for being a great partner. Thank you for being a great partner and uh, thank you for your kind uh, kind word, words. Uh, we are trying hard uh, to do even better and uh, stay healthy. You too. Stay healthy. So that was Daniel Butz, CEO of Object Carpet in Germany. They they are a great company. They are great people. And uh, people should check out the Ippolito Flights Collection absolutely. on the website today. Ippolito Flights Collection by Object Carpet. So if you have any questions for Summit, best way to reach us is emailing us at info at summit-flooring.com or calling our Toll-free number 1-877-496-3566. We always welcome your opinion. We'd like to hear any particular topics that you'd like to uh, for us to discuss. Um, we do have uh, scheduled next week um, another partner of ours, Grass Partners from the Netherlands. We are honored and pleased to have uh, the commercial director of Grass Partners, Ronald Dyke slag. There you now, go. I don't know if I said that right. I was speaking with him before. It's more like Dyke schlag, but I don't think I was going to get that right. So I just gave it a shot. Um, uh, Don, uh, Ronald, we look forward to, to uh, speaking with you next week. Uh, Grass Partners makes outdoor landscaping turf, which we also use for indoor. Very unique, very uh, different. So with that, we'd like to thank you. Uh, please. Join us again next week, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, for episode 17 with Grass Partners. Everybody, please stay well, stay healthy.